What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today, my good people? You know what I'm saying, my good peoples? Hope y'all taking care of y'all except today. You know what I'm saying, my good people? But y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smash that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. You know what I'm saying, my good people? I'm sorry I've been seeing this here and I ain't put it out. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. I'm going to play catch back in, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Gunshots and chaos baby. break out after a block party turns violent. New tonight, we're now learning nine people were shot, two of them killed. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Shay Arthur. Tonight, Memphis like police have announced their reward for information. Leading detectives to find those responsible for that shooting has increased no to $15,000. WREG's Alan Self sat down with community activists and a grieving family who lost a loved one. And Alan, this has to be really difficult. And powerful stories are now emerging following the tragedy. A block party turned deadly, leaving a family shattered and grieving. Shalmar Faison, a brother, son, and father, taken far too soon. If you don't know where your kids are, keep a contact, locate, 360, find your child. Because it hurts when you lose them. It hurts bad. Family members tell us 22-year-old Faison was killed last night while at the Orange Mountain block party. His brother does not think he was a target. He says people from other areas caused a problem in this massive shooting. I don't, I don't want nobody to right. make, you know, make our, make our hood him. look, you know, different or anything. Like the first time or, or the second time with a block party, then none of this happened. That's how you knew it was outside. Today, neighbors came together to support each other. Community activist Tawana Murphy shared a heart-wrenching moment about a young woman she saw crying in her car. She asked, told me that her friend that they grew up with since they were kids was one of the ones that was shot here, Shalomar, he was shot here. And she hasn't moved since. In fact, she was one of the young ladies that was down here in the park when the incident happened yesterday. And she's been sitting here since. I spoke with another activist out of Orange Mound, Keith Leachman, CEO of Stop Killing, Cut the Beef. He shared a personal connection to the tragedy, identifying one of the victims as Antonio Humphrey. The young Antonio guy. I remember the young guy from the cradle, not to the grave, as they say. His uncle died holding my hands uh, 15 years ago. And I told him I was gonna fix it. But revenge is the Lord's. So I had to change my life and try to get it done another way. Bleachman said his bed shook as the shots went off down the street last night. Memphis police tell us hundreds of people were at the block party, but Leachman says he chose not to attend. I don't do block parties, you know, I do more of a motivation parties, uh, spiritual gatherings. So I try not to attend block parties in my own community. A lot of them don't end well. Again, no one has been arrested in this case. If you know anything, police urge you to call crime. Right there, scary moments. Eight people shot in the Orange Mound. This video shows hundreds of people running for their lives as a barrage of gunfire echoes around them. This morning, we have originally, they said 16, but they changed it overnight. Two of those people die. We do not have the ages of all the victims. As of right now, police have not made any arrests. Police say the gunfire started during a block party at Orange Mound Park. Viewer basketball court watching a car doing donuts when gunfire breaks out. You can see people run for cover and literally dive in the dirt trying to save themselves. You can hear their footsteps as they try to find cover. This morning, police are searching for the people responsible and they are asking the public to. 300 people were out here. Um, we didn't get exact ages on the people that were out here, but up to 300 people, that is a lot of people. This is a very active crime scene behind me. If you take a look, you can see that 
investigators are on the scene walking around with their flashlights gathering evidence videos circulating online i heard at least 100 gunshots so as you can imagine investigators they're searching to find as many shell casings as possible now take a look at this picture this is moments before the gunfire if you take a closer look you can see in this picture multiple guns in the uh, air I'm this is people. a steel picture you know from the video yeah. we just played for you right Man. there Y'all at least five saying, guns in the air now nah, we had multiple oh, crews man. on this scene he last night covering this mass shooting fox 13's lakia and people yeah. shot and right now we are at carnes and mound right near grand we're actually right in front of so. orange mount park that is i'll be praying that somebody listen to my videos and everything because you know what I'm saying, man? I can help a lot of these teenagers, you feel me? And then y'all can see the guns. I've been seeing before they even paused the video when they witness talking. I'm like, look, I see two choppers, three choppers. I see three choppers in the air. You feel me? Or uh, three Draco, look like three small Dracos I seen sitting in the air. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay. Is anybody else seeing this at this block party? If y'all know y'all see people throwing guns up in the air, why y'all just ain't leave? You feel me? Anytime y'all see somebody with a lot of guns thrown in the air, guess what? Please, y'all, walk away from the walk away from it, right? And they say, why y'all leaving? And you just say, look here, man, guns around, I'm finna leave. Boom. And then they'll probably go put their guns up or something. You feel what I'm saying? But why popped off? Why? You feel me? They must be seeing the ops. They must be seeing somebody they didn't like and they wouldn't shoot and shooting innocent people or they want to do that just because they want to have a name for themselves. You feel me? Why y'all young jits and women don't understand this here? Quit thinking going out. That's what you missing. You ain't really missing nothing. You're going to miss something, all right? You're going to miss yourself straight to hell because that's where all of y'all really going because you are partying. You ain't seeing God, seeking God like you're supposed to. You can't say you love God because if you love God, you will be partying, you will be clubbing. All that's in there. Anybody say they tell me they love God, you got to stop what's completely what you're doing. That's when you know you committed, you love God. Even though God knows we human, but true, genuine love, when you love God, you got to stop everything of your life that you thinking that you really need and you really don't need that. You feel me? You don't need to smoke. You don't need to drink. It's a lot of stuff we people don't need to do, but we thinking that we love God because then we still smoking and drinking. You claim you love God. That ain't loving God. Loving God is doing everything right. Don't don't smoke, don't drink, don't club, no nothing. Don't fun a cave. Don't be shacking. Don't be laying up, splacking one another. You ain't married to the person. who woo, woo. You can't be doing none of that. You feel what I'm saying? You can't do nothing what the world offers to us out here. You can't. You feel me? We were born, born in this world with sin. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You born into this world already. Because words already were sinning. You feel what I'm saying? Before we move touch down. You feel me? But my understanding, why y'all young people feel like y'all missing something if y'all don't go to this block party or y'all don't go to a club. You ain't missing nothing. If you don't see one club and you don't want the one club and you see how everything is at a club, everybody drinking, everybody smoking, everybody shooting us, why continue to put your life, your own soul, your own life in danger by going to these block parties and these clubs? Why? And you know, nine times out of ten, okay, you might make it this week. Might not be no shooting. Or you might make it for that whole month. Might not be no shooting. But soon you go that next month or two months, it might be shooting. You the main one get hit. You the main one get zipped up. You the main one have your parents, you know what I'm saying, sad because when she was trying to tell you to sit down and you ain't have to go here, go there. No, you think your parents was trying to be too strict on you, but but they wasn't. They were trying to really help you save your soul, save your life because they ain't want to be hurt if they find out that you just is dead laying out there on the streets. You feel me? You don't know, y'all kids don't know what y'all put y'all parents through. And y'all, some of y'all kids don't even most care. Because you want to continue doing what you want to do. You got to stop it, young people. You feel what I'm saying? You got to stop it. Y'all young people out there bringing that headache, man, to your parents, man. Because 
You think of your parents being hard on you. You think of your parents don't love you. No, that ain't the case, man. The parents trying to show you something that, you know what I'm saying? But come and tell you something. How you, how you think some of y'all parents made it and lived for so long? You feel? Because you know why? They don't been through the same thing that y'all going through. They don't see what y'all going through. This ain't nothing but a rerun mix. You feel me? Some of y'all kids thinking your parents sit down, oh, they old school, they don't know no better. No. Your parents know a whole lot better. Why you think they still here? Why you think they still living? Why you think they still got breath in their body? Because of God. You feel me? Some of y'all young jits and, and females, y'all not making it, man. You feel me? You not making it. I don't care. You not making it. You know what I'm saying? Leave this party behind. Leave that club behind, man. That's all y'all to do. Y'all young people bring the pain to your parents, man. Your parents mean well to y'all. You feel me? But y'all kids don't get it, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to do what y'all going to do. Continue doing what you're doing. But when you get, get murdered, guess what? Hell waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? And don't say, oh, uh, God will set me in the light. No, he won't. If you ain't got it right with God at that moment, at that time, and you die. See what I'm saying? God, I'm going to tell you something about God. God can let you die right there. Or he can give you another chance right there. You feel me? It's up to God. It's up to devil to take your life. If devil come to God and say, okay, can I uh, take their soul? He got to get that permission. God look at you, look at it like, yeah. You feel me? Because God say, I kills. You feel me? Devil got to get that permission. And y'all people don't understand that. It ain't our way. It's God way. He the one gave us this breath, man. You feel me? How you think our flesh moving around? It ain't because we come out of mama womb, you know what I'm saying? We move, no. God give us that so we can grow up, move around, breathe, speak, talk, read. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't put nothing in our hand to make a drink, smoke, and kill. The devil can do all that. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying, good people? You know what I'm saying? Let me get off this. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I just pray that my video get out and reach some of the young people. If it don't, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, my good people, you know what I'm saying? That's the end. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I really do need help over here. And I'm going to keep on begging. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I stand on that. You know what I'm talking about? Because, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not ashamed for begging. You heard me? If you don't if you don't ask for nothing, you don't get nothing. You heard me? So, I really do need help with my channel. I really do need help because, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm over here struggling, you feel me? I can't lie about that, you heard me? I stand on 10 on business on that, so. Y'all please help me, you feel me? So on this note, my good people, that's the end. I'm going to scratch that, you know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do, you know what I'm saying? But I always keep God up in my life, you feel me? Always. Y'all see, I always speak about God, you know what I'm saying? God give me the motivation, you know what I'm saying? He give me the, the, uh, the comfort that I need, but at the same time, I still need the help by people that really understand me and really understand God, how God moves. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no preacher. I'm not no pastor. You feel me? I just ask for y'all help. That's it. You heard me? And I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no better than y'all. You feel me? And I don't put myself better than y'all. You heard me? I still make goofy mistakes. You feel me? And I stand on that. So on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.